video, we're going to show you how you can take a smart notebook file and transfer it, convert it over to a My View Board whiteboard file. So My View Board whiteboard, just for those of you who may not know, is uh, an application or software on our ViewSonic PCs uh, that's going to be very similar to a smart notebook type application. It's going to allow you to use an interactive whiteboard uh, to mark up interactive files that you've created. Uh, just there's a variety of things that you can do with the my view board whiteboard but specifically we're looking at how you take a smart notebook file and put it into my view board whiteboard so what you're going to want to do first is locate that smart notebook file um, for this video what i've done is i've downloaded my smart notebook file and it's living in my downloads um, on my computer here it might be in the google drive uh, for you and if it is you can access it from this window here um, if for some reason that your file you're looking for is on the web, Google Drive, you can always go into your uh, Google Drive and find that online on the web, and you can just download it to your computer. This is going to be the simplest way. You just want a copy of it on your PC somewhere for easy access. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into, or I'm going to open up the my Viewboard whiteboard software. And the great thing about this is it's going to be a pretty simple process. All you're going to have to do is drag and drop your file, your smart notebook file, into the whiteboard software. And so when it opens up, you'll see kind of a blank screen here. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of not, not fully minimize, but just reduce my screen size here for this particular application. And then I'm going to open up my downloads folder on my PC. Again, this is where my smart notebook file lives. And all I have to do is click and drag into the whiteboard space. So this is my smart notebook file. I'm just dragging it and I'm going to drop it into the whiteboard space. Now, when I do that, this one's only four slides. So it converted pretty quickly. You'll notice that it'll convert over. And then it's going to basically ask you which uh, slides do you want to take into the whiteboard. So I'm going to select all my slides for this example, and I'm going to import it as landscape. That's just a better fit for the screen. Um, I'm going to click import landscape and when I do that you'll notice I'm going to close this window you'll notice that now when I make the screen bigger in the my whiteboard viewboard I've got my smart notebook file here a couple things I want to point out to you uh, if you click on the page management menu on your floating toolbar this is going to show you the files or the pages I should say that are inside of this file a lot of the times when you bring over a smart notebook file for some reason that first page they put a blank first page in that particular file. Um, you can just go in here and delete that page unless you wanted to have a page at the beginning there for some reason that you wanted to add to your file. And I'm going to go ahead and click yes to delete. And then what I've got are four different pages here that are all associated with my smart notebook file. It just converted it over into the uh, into the my view board window. And so what I'm going to do here is close this A couple things that you can do just for basic navigation. You can click these arrows here utilizing your mouse or you can do it up there if you're on the board um, just touching the arrows and it'll move from slide to slide something i do want you to point out you can take your mouse um, from your um, pc and you can use the scrolling ball there that you can um, normally scroll up and down pages with and you can zoom in and out depending on how your um, file converted over it should convert over pretty cleanly um, but you'll notice that like things are movable um, you're able to drag and drop items so like let's say this i wanted to drag this particular piece up a little bit i can do that here just so that's in the the full screen and i can also adjust by just going in and out with that um, with that ball on my mouse there in the center of the mouse the last thing that I'll show you here before we close this video is going to be the way that you can save this particular file. So now that we've got it converted, we'd like to save it so we can we don't have to do that conversion process each time. Or maybe I'm going to mark this up and save the file um, for students after the fact. When you're done with the file, if you click on the little folder down here, this is like kind of your your folder management. If you click on that, you're going to see a couple different options. So we want to point you to the save button here. So we're going to click save. And then it's going to pull up a, um, a place that it's going to ask you where you want your files to save. So in this example, you know, I'm going to choose my desktop. And when I choose my desktop, I can then type in the name of the file. And when I do that, click the little checkbox here. 
And what this will do is this will then save the file type, which is a .olf on my desktop. And it's there where I could then open it back up later. Um, obviously, you could save it in the Google Drive. I just put it on the desktop for easy access, those kind of things. So essentially, that's how you would convert that file over. Um, and you can basically use what you have in Smart Notebook inside of my whiteboard viewport.